Good morning, everyone. You guys can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Coach Cleverson is in trouble here. <laughs> Everything's fine? Mm hmm. I know. Everybody can hear me? Yeah. I know what to do. Uh, just waiting for put everyone in a, in a meeting, okay? Just wait a little bit to get more players, okay? We still missing a couple on here. Nice <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so bored. At, I'm so bored at home. I gotta grow something. Yeah. I don't have any plants. I can hear. Nice hill. Uh, nice hot. Right. <laughs> uh, who are you missing here? Uh, where's Will? Will is there, Will? Big Let's Will? Uh, I don't see William Cleberson. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's in the bottom, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> where's another Brazilian? Luis? I don't want to forget any Brazilian. Pedro? Pedro is there? Pe yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Peter. Luis, it's not? Mateus, I'm here. Yeah, Mateuzinho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't saw Luis. There's Luis. Yes, Luisinho. You okay, Jordan? <laughs> awesome, boys. Uh, let's go. Let's go start, it, okay? Uh -huh. How are you guys feeling? You guys uh, missed that? Uh, yeah, you guys. You guys missing so much training session? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I saw you guys send couple training. That's great. That's very important. You guys keep uh very active now, okay? Uh, we don't know yet exactly when you go be back, and then we need for everyone um go back strong for the finishing the the season, right? For today, we have like a two special guests to spoke. Both of them uh, is my friend. One's a Fernandinho. When I start to play uh, an Atlético Paranaense, he he play in academy. We didn't play together, but uh, I remember when I was a kid, when I was uh, go to watching his game. I was in the first team, and he's in academy. And then I saw he's in the field, and a. Uh, I saw his. I was a very qualified player. He is. That's why he's like um. He's he turned a big player. We try to put like Gabriel Jesus in the meeting. He probably coming later in the meeting. Okay. But uh, uh let's go start with this. Tommy uh, Mapo, do you have something to say to Fernandinho guys? 
I just uh, <laughs> thanks very much for for taking the time to to join us this morning. It's uh, it's not very often um, you get the opportunity to to listen to someone speak who's playing at the highest level of the game, uh, both for your club and country. So we very much appreciate um, you taking the time. We, we're we're used to having a World Cup winner around us with Cleverson. Uh, but to have you join us is absolutely uh, fantastic. So thanks very much. Thank you. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Good. Good. Yeah, I hope you are fine, safe, and uh, enjoying this moment with your your family and your loved one. And for me, it's a pleasure to to be here with you. You know, so Cleverson is a. old friend so i knew him since uh, 17 years old so he mentioned we didn't play together but actually we played we played together for i don't know three four months and uh, i don't know i don't know if he remembers that but he <laughs> gave me a gift it was a football boots when i was <laughs> when i was a teenager so just to mention that he was my biggest idol in the football when i started playing football and for me it was a pleasure to play with him so he was a uh, a whole model for me inside the pitch, outside the pitch, and for sure, for me it's a pleasure to be here now and attend his call and to talk a little bit with you about my my football career and someone I the 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 Saints and. Uh, Let's go. Let's go for it. Awesome, awesome, Fernando. Yeah, now you remember you. You make my memory fresh. I know you play like a couple month together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when was... when I scored my first professional goal, you you were the first one to hug me after. <laughs> during the celebration, I was I was about to cry there, and uh, it was a big <laughs> moment for me, special moment. Yeah, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, um, guys, you guys have a, an, um, any question for uh, for Fernandinho? Oh, uh, I do. Yes, Pedro is a he's a one the Brazilian. He's a he Great. played with us. He's our like um our midfielder. Go ahead, Pedro. Oh, would you play in the MLS? Yeah, to be honest, I I thought about that, that you know years ago. So I get I get the chance to talk to the coach, and he made the able to, to know the team, to know the city. But unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to to travel to USA since then. So, but but for sure is a. Some some option I consider for the future for sure. Thanks. No problem. Anybody has another question? Brad, go ahead, Brad. Um, what was the most challenging forward to ever defend in your lifetime? Um, Sorry, can I say again? What was the most challenging forward you've ever defended in your lifetime? What does it take to be successful? I was, I just repeat what you said. What does it take to be The most, the most challenging. Yeah. Okay. This isn't the team. This is the whole world. <laughs> who who is the hardest who is the hardest forward that you had to defend against was his question oh the hardest forward oh there, there are so there are so many <laughs> it's impossible just to point to one but but for example at the high at the high le at the high level those players are special you know so for me the most the most difficult players I have faced was uh, like uh, 
Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, Neymar, uh, Kylian Mbappé, Mbappé. I think all of them they are so good and uh, they cause a lot of trouble under they they are a special player then and that that's why they they are so they are so good you know and for me the special one as well one of the most difficult guys i i faced was uh diego costa when he plays for chelsea he was in good shape and i play against him in premier league and he was a very good player as well so for sure those those players they are special and uh i hope I I can face them again and uh, to have a good challenge and a good game as well. Can I can I ask a question, Clevy? Yes, go ahead, Tommy. Uh, uh, you, you I, I remember uh, a few years ago you were um, in everyone's top eleven in the English Premier League as a midfield player. Um, how how do you feel where where you're playing now at centre back? And it, it looks to me like you're uh, you, you look to be enjoying it, um, and you seem to have accepted that role for the for the good of your teammates. Is that would that be fair to say, or, or is do you have a preferred position in the team? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So. When uh, when Pep Guardiola comes to me and uh, talk to me about to move for uh, for this position, so I have played before a few games and you know, all. So, but during this season, I have had so many problems with injury. Problems at Kudinto, and then he moved he moved me to to play as a as a center back and uh, for me it was okay because the way we play most of the time you get the ball and uh, you get the most of the games you have the highest possession of the ball and for me it was no problem you know so of course is a is a little bit different from playing as a midfielder but during the season I was I was adapting my 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 game my rule my rule and uh, I think I, I I am settled now and uh, as as you mentioned, you know, some some sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself for the good of the team. And I think this is this is one of the sacrifice I have made for for Manchester City. And I hope I hope you can you can be successful in the future. And uh, if I play in, as a center half or uh, defensive midfielder. And for me, the most important to, to get the result and the, the victories at the end. Face. Fernandinho, when you are a kid, you start to play in academy, we, you play in a different possession or only like on a um, center meter? Uh, when, when, I, when I was a kid, when I started to play football, I remember I used to play in every position, you know, so... I remember when I was to to PSTC and they asked me which position do you play and uh, my my answer was whatever any position I can play in any position so this is uh, this is ability I have since I was kid and uh, I think this has helped me to to be a to be a professional footballer and uh, was a very good, good very good thing for me. And, uh, you know, as a kid, we just enjoy the football and uh, went to play every time. So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing to me. And then something something we work more to improve your uh, your technique when we were a kid, like uh, <laughs> passing, defending. Yeah, when, I remember when I started to, to play at, at Pest C. And uh, we have some uh, uh, special training sessions with the uh, professor, uh, Professor Zakinha. So it's more technical issues and uh, more technical uh, training sessions. So the pass, the control, to pass the ball, control the ball, 
this is this is small details which made made the difference during the games and uh for sure this helped us a lot and uh i understand that that time was so important for me because i was growing up and i was learning at the same time and help me and help me to be a footballer and uh if there is something i would recommend for the for every player in the world is this kind of of uh, of session of training session because this helps helps you a lot to be a better a better player guys just like a you guys know that coaching uh fernandinho talked about zequinha he is my coach too when i was kid, yeah, does, yeah. when i was like uh the same age of the you guys 13 and 12 and then uh he spent a lot of time to give to us a lot of exercise with technique to receive and passing how you move your body how's you control the ball how the next step and then something like very important for Nandi, you say that that's that age guys it's very important we work in your technique because that's the base for the next step in your life i know you have a lot of uh young talent teams talent teams and a team and then we want to work together to give opportunity for everyone to be a pro and then uh make you show you guys uh work hard in your technique and now you guys are at home now you guys can start like a uh, work like that some passing in the wall some receiving think about your body okay that's very 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 thoughts that you give to us okay and that coach he is a brilliant coach he helped us a lot yeah. when i was a kid and then uh, you you never if you guys work like that you guys never forgot that you guys gotta be work every time and, and just and just uh just to remember it's a kind of simple training session you know? you just need someone else and one ball and you can do a lot of exercises you know so you don't need the big spaces you just need the small spaces and you just work the technique chest head your foot your knee and it's a very very good training session i i missed i missed that to be honest <laughs> yeah that's awesome uh, Fernandinho, how did you let me, let me spoke often about his his integration or uh, settling into manchester how have you found uh, leaving brazil and living overseas uh so i to be honest i'm i'm fine because i'm living i live brazil 15 years ago so i moved to ukraine first and uh i i play i played for eight years for Shakhtar Donetsk in ukraine so after that i went to to manchester so unfortunately unfortunately i couldn't i couldn't uh, i couldn't meet Cleberson over there because he, <laughs> he moved before me too much rainy so, for <laughs> yeah but but uh me and my fa my family and me we are settled there so it's a it's a nice city you know it's most city and uh everyone there they are they're, they they have the their passion for the football for the game and they love the football they love the premier league so since since i was there so you can feel you know the love from the the, the fans and the, the respect from the fans and this is this is good because it's give you give you extra motivation to to keep working to work hard and to try to play your best at the pitch and off off the pitch as well so and of course i miss i miss my account my but at the end you are doing your job and you, you have to go through this one awesome yeah i remember that time for you <laughs> yeah i think what about, Clebby, what about our young boys it's not very often you get a world-class player on the phone um who's taking who's, who's now's the time to pick his brains about 
aspects of his game that can help you. Please, please don't be afraid to ask a question. Uh, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, did you always dream to play like center mid or center back? Or did you, like when were you young, did you want to play striker? Or like... To be honest, I always dreamed to be a football player and I never pay any attention to play, you know, which position I would play. So for me, when I was watching a football game on TV and the, the dream comes to my mind and comes to my heart and I always, oh, I want to be a football player. I want to play for a national team and always it was uh, my fault, you know. And uh, after that was a consequence because I met some coaches during my time. And, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, this is my son, David. And uh, you see. This is what something I always dream of, you know, to be a footballer, to, be, to play a professional, professional. And uh, during my during my career, I find some play some coaches, and they give me the directions which position I I would play better, and uh, which position I would play I would play uh, good and help the team, and maybe. The, this is the reason I I used to play for so many positions in different teams and national teams as well. Okay, thank you. Can I ask a question? Of course. Um, how do you like Pep Guardiola as a coach? So I, I like him as a coach and as a person as well. So he is I I have had some uh, some coaches during my life and uh, for me he is uh, one of the best, especially inside the pitch, in the technical terms and tactical terms as well. So he give you the instruction before the game and uh, all the info before the games about the opponent you're gonna face, and uh, he works on the details, you know. And maybe, and I think this is why he's special, and he tries always to you know to take to put on the in the best performance to put in the game and uh, for me it's a big pleasure to to work with him every day and to learn to learn from him because every day he comes with some new situation and you grow up as a person and as a player as well i have a question yeah go ahead Nis. um what is it like playing on the Manchester City team at such a high level. Sorry, can you say again? Can you repeat the question? What is it like playing on the Manchester City team at such a high level? So it's a it's a team which has been built to to win games and to win titles, you know. So that's why I am so happy to be part of this team because we have a lot of good players and most of them they are they are considered the superstars but at the end all of them they are humble and uh, they they like to work hard every day during the training sessions and they they are focused during the games you know during the games and uh, i think this is why it makes makes this team is this team is special so and and, and for me is a uh, very good opportunity and to be part of this team and for sure when i retire i'll be you know this is those moments will be always in my heart and my memory okay thank you i have a question go ahead gunner um who do you feel most comfortable playing with on the field could you, could you have who do you feel most comfortable playing with on the field? Yeah, maybe yes, because I have played in this position for so many years. So now, over thirty, you uh, you understand you understand the game more. You know, you know exact you know exactly the moment you have to make the sprint, you have to run, you have to walk, you have to pass the ball or keep the ball. So. 
But as I said before, you no know, playing now in, in a new position, I am learning, so I am enjoying that moment, and I hope my 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 performance can can be good, can be better, and uh, can help the team because at the end, every everything you do inside the pit is just to help your team, you know, as a collective group, as a team, and to get the success. And, and to get pictures as well. As a midfielder, I feel more comfortable. Bom dia. I have a, I have a, a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. Who, who is the first to to arrive in the training session every time? Ah, oh, that's a good one, Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who is the first to arrive and who is the last to move the pitch? Come on, guys. Luke is last. Luke is last. And who's the first? Alex, Alex, Alex. Yeah. and then me. <laughs> I, I also I see like a Vincent get first, and then uh, behind him Alex, and then yeah. looks you get the whole balls, the whole equipment before <laughs> left the field, no? <laughs> okay. Okay. Then next time, the last one to come. To the training session to arrive in the pitch, they have to make 10 push ups, okay? Yes! <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have a lot of strong young players here, Fernando. Yeah. Gun is the first one left the field. Luis. <laughs> oh, Oi! Somebody has somebody has another question, boys. I do. Go ahead. Don't be, don't be afraid to make a question, guys. Nehan, could you repeat, please? What was the most challenging game you played in? A shining game. Challenging game. Ah, challenging. Wow, there are so many, huh? When when. When you when you are at a high at high level, every game there are some challenges, you know. So every three days, you have a new to overcome the the difficulty and uh, to be successful. So that's why this profession this profession is a is a challenge every time, you know, every day. So, but for sure. Every final I, I, I played, I go Ever. Thank you. Fernandinho, for this one problem yeah this this young player here uh we played it last year on the J cup with like the best teams in uh, in america and then uh, the kids they did a very great job we get the final and then we won in the final and then we have like a top score player uh the best player and also we went to Brazil in the beginning of the year and then we played at the Iber Cup Elite in Sao Paulo and then uh, we got in the final too, you lost against Vasco but also you have like a the best player in the tournament Yeah. and also you went to Porto Alegre we lost the same in the same final against Grêmio uh, my question for you uh how do you guys see 
the America young players uh, outside the, the America, like a, to play outside America? So I think I think uh, American players they got uh, a lot of potential, you know, and uh, in perspective for the further because they 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 work really hard on the bases, and uh, I think the next generation is, is gonna come strong. Will be a very good generation of players because the the job the job they the the job they are doing now now. America is very good, so, and uh, I think at the end of the at the end of the game, the result is the less important, you know, because we have preparing something bigger and preparing uh, the players for the for the future to be a pro or you know to be a good person in the future. But for sure, as I say, America they have a lot of perspective to be a very good side. In the football game, the soccer game, and uh, for sure, I think everybody are looking now and to be worried about the next generation because they know that who works who works inside the football, they know America is strong, and uh, I'm sure nobody we want to face. Uh, USA in the competitions because they know their players will be, will be very, very good. Awesome. Guys, somebody has another question before you... Um, I have a question. Yes, Adrian. Um, so, a lot of the boys here have dreams of being professional players themselves, um, but they're, they're frankly at the beginning yeah. of that journey. Um, do you have any any kind of feedback or insights um, about habits that helped you get to where you are that maybe could help them in their journey to become a professional? Yeah, I think to become a professional it depends on a lot of things, but for sure, for some. Uh, the, they, they, they needed to be a professional or you know successful footballer and uh, I think for me the discipline is one of them you know the respect you have to show for your coaches for your teammates for your opponents as well uh, when, when you are in the training session or the game you have to show the respect for them because at the end at the end you are a human being and uh, you have to to treat the people the way you you you, you would like it to be treated, and uh, I think the responsibility you know to be to be in that uh, in that profession in that profession, as I said before, it was a kind of joke. But you know, uh, who was the first to come to the to the field for the training session? But it shows you know the desire the desire and the the, the wishes the players have and. The, to, to, to work hard to play and I think when you put all those things together you you got you got a lot of chances you know to become a a, profession, a professional footballer so but this is this is something I, I have learned when I was a teenager and that uh, is something which I carry on with me since since then awesome thank you Awesome. Somebody has another question, guys? I have one. Go ahead, Dylan. Uh, like, during a game, how do you get over a mistake mentally? During the game, how I get over what? A mistake mentally. So, I think mistake is something which uh, is part of the game. So this is this is this is can happen with anyone inside the field, and uh, you have to be ready to overcome the situation and to be mentally strong, knowing that your teammates they need you to be strong, you know, especially mentally or physically, and they have to be, you know, at the highest level always and try to be to put your best performance 
on the field. And uh, I think uh, a mistake don't uh, don't say if you are a bad player or something like that. As I say before, mistake make is part of the game, and it, this can happen with anyone. But the most important is after the mistake, you have to overcome the situation and keep going, heads up, try to do your best always, and. Uh, in the beautiful of the football, you always have the opportunity to start again, to start again, and to go again. That's that's why we love we love this, this sport. Okay. <clears throat> Fernandinho, um, what what advice would you give our young players um, as to how they they should approach a training session? You know, what attitude should they bring? Any good habits that they should bring to the community? Uh, so, first of all, when they are brought for the training session, they, you know, <coughs> they have to know that they, their coaches, they, they, they were working so hard to, pre to prepare the, the training session. And, uh, you know, and to learn of the most important in the training session because at the end the game is just the consequence of what happens during the training session so when you work hard during the training session the game would, would be easier you know so that's why always when we talk to the players, the young players, we ask them just to focus during the training session, work hard, and respect what the, the coach has to say, and uh, try to be disciplined. And after that, hit all those things during the game, and we, you're going to get the results. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Somebody has the last question before you. Uh, I have one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, for you, do you like any time in the game? Do you like argue with the ref, like telling him like it's a bad call? Like, do you argue with the ref? Oh, yeah, Fernando, is... tell the truth. <laughs> I think I think I think this is uh this is something you 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 learn during your football career because you know sometimes you can see they have to make make some mistakes or make the wrong call but at the end you understand he is a human being as well we have to understand the situation and of course, so you have to protect your side, but you cannot uh, miss the respect to the half, you know? So sometimes I have to approach the half friend and just talk to him and say, hey, come on, uh, maybe this is the wrong call. Be careful for the next time to, to make the, the wrong call again. But, you know, when you when you understand they are human beings as well and they can make mistakes, I think you you play better and you understand the situation, and I think you you become a better person as well. So that's why, of course, during the during the football match, the emotions they are they are high, they, the adrenaline are high, but with the age you 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 learn how to control those emotions and then you become a better player and a better person though awesome awesome uh i want to say thank you for fernandinho guys uh i think that's a that's amazing to have him with us and talk about a little bit uh his career about soccer uh, I hope you guys enjoy the meeting.
okay and then um, and then as our on everyone say thank you thank you for fernandinho and good luck on the rest of this season thank you thank you for thank you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank you guys was my pleasure good luck for you all the best and i hope you can go through this problem and be safe with your families and as soon as possible we're gonna get back to our work our job and we're gonna do what we love to do for to play soccer awesome fernandinho thank you very much Feel free when you come here in the uh, United States to visit our academy and then uh, to meet our boys, okay? Thank you very much, man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.